911, what is your emergency? Yes, um, I need a police officer over here at 7 court. What's going on? Um, I've got two teenage daughters, and I just got home from work. They were um, physically fighting with each other, and one of them kicked a hole in a door. And um, they're 12 and almost 14, and the 12-year-old is completely out of control. And I, I can't, I physically, if she's as big as I am, I can't control her. Okay, did you want us to come over and shoot her? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want us to come over and shoot her? Yeah, no, that'll definitely work. Yeah, th thanks for that, 911 dispatcher. <laughs> Don't be silly, wrap your willy. Oh, one for 9 o'clock, one for 13 o'clock, one for 17 o'clock, and one for 22 o'clock. You have one for every month, every year, every day of the week, and every hour. Thank God someone actually has made the perfect condoms to have for every hour and every day of the week. I am so happy that they did that because now at least people will know which condoms to use. And at least you won't end up using a broken one. Good job. I, I appreciate this a lot. We repair what your husband fixed. Nice. Yes, that's perfect advertising. That's quite the question, Akinator. Does your character wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy? Yeah, I I really hope not. Yeah, it is so crazy what's going on on the internet. It I, I think that's part of the reason why I really just don't want to make content because every time I look at anything on the internet and I would like to make some content, everything is just bad. Everybody's starting to show their true colors and people are more of a piece of shit than what they actually are. Th this is a crazy ass year, guys. Uh, I mean, you... <laughs> You can't deny that. The joy this fella has after teabagging mother nature. Oh, not safe for work, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't show that. But it is a dog teabagging nature. Found this in a parking lot. Is today my lucky day? A 10 millimeter! Hey! You found a 10 millimeter! I'm so proud! Oh my god, someone actually found the 10 millimeter. I've been missing 10 millimeters. Every time I go over to my friend's houses or I anywhere that has tools, everybody is missing a 10 millimeter. Finally, someone found one. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Now let me have it. In Finland, we have this thing called käsisuihku, aka pussy telephone. This is why we are so happy, because we have so clean assholes. Why doesn't every country have this? You know, the, the famous Riku Rantala from Adventures said one time, if you fall face first in shit, do you wipe it with paper or do you actually use water as well? I, for instance, like to use water. So that's why I'm so happy. So please, rest of the world, start using these. They're very handy. Make sure that the next time you go to the bathroom, just make sure to shower off. It doesn't matter if you're going to have a shit sandwich or not. Just get in the shower and just shower off. Unless you have a bidet, then use the bidet. But... Come on, guys. Everybody has a bidet at this point. Let's get real here. Everybody has that, right? I, I don't have a bidet. I don't have a bidet. I'm just talking out of my ass. No pun intended. Two dogs digging a hole got busted by the owner. Oh, wow. That is a crazy hole. Oh, my God. It, yeah, they found out. That is a crazy hole. At that point, the yard would become all concrete. If my dog makes a hole like that, the whole the whole yard's becoming concrete. That's all there is to it. No digging anymore. Absolutely not. I warned him. I said, I'm going to fart. Stop. He didn't stop. What? 60% efficiency. Oh. How does that work? I I mean, I guess that works, but I have a bike. I could say this. That looks dangerous as shit. Don't do that. Well, do you punk? Do you want to learn how to play banjo? <laughs> no thanks. Damn. Aw, oh, that that makes me so sad that 3 4 people maybe said no thanks. Why would you say no thanks to that though? It's the freaking banjo, guys. You got to play the banjo. Banjo is an awesome instrument. Why would you say no to that? I think that the banjo is the perfect interest in instrument for everyone to learn. Uh, I think that if more people knew the banjo instrument or how to play it, 
then this world would be a much happier place. Why don't we start playing the banjo, guys? Come on. Ah, uh, twins do everything together. Oh, isn't that just sweet? How did you manage to have two of the same types of trucks both get booted? Obviously, you you parked too close to the line. You were probably too close to the intersection. That's, that's why you got uh, uh, booted, but... Uh, how? How does that happen? That's crazy. Acid reflux caused Paul Guidry to develop throat cancer in 2015. His only option to communicate became this electronic voice box. Um, the throatsy boys. Wow. That is so crazy. I never knew that th throat cancer can be caused from acid reflux. That is crazy. My stepdad has acid reflux, and I'll be completely honest with you. I wouldn't be surprised if I ever got it, too. And, uh, that's, that's wild because, uh... Wow. Seems like anything could kill you anymore. That's why I was telling everybody. You drink too much milk, you die. You drink too much water, you die. If you don't drink enough, you die. You have to have that certain middle ground, and if you don't have that middle ground, then you're just gonna die. I don't understand it. Anything that we do anymore, it's like, well, you're gonna die. Well, you know what? Then I'm just gonna live my life. That's what I'm going to do. Walmart bringing the savings. <laughs> it was 328, now it's 327. <laughs> Who did that? I wanna know. <laughs> I haven't seen the Walmart smiley face in a Walmart in like 10 years. Where is this at? Universe 1B, where Walmart's red, targets blue, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Keep the social distance and use our toilets to clean your hands. Thank you so much airport now i know to clean my hands in the toilet and to social distance at all times i will social distance my hands as i wash them inside the toilet thank you so much so i put this on the ceiling on our workplace gullible <laughs> there's gullible on the ceiling <laughs> uh, made you look and guess what it still said gullible so you suck ass oh Wow. What? <laughs> Remember, it's important to own up to your mistakes. Sorry I farted next to you. No problem, Mr. Hart. I, I will not be upset the next time that you fart next to me. As long as you tell me ahead of time that you're going to fart next to me. And then... I won't be upset, but if you don't tell me, then I'll be upset. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm not sitting on that.